A lot of these priests, a lot of these leaders in the Catholic Church, they are Freemasons. They are Satanists. Listen, I want you to listen to what this former Satanist, this former Freemason has to say about this and how he, um, the process he had to go through into becoming a Satanist. All right, listen to this. I had to become a Freemason because you can't get involved in Satanism on the hardcore level without first being a Freemason. That was my official shrine portrait, which they took as part of my initiation. I was ready to become involved in hardcore Satanism. What did that mean? Well, that meant I had to sell my soul to the devil. I had to sign my name on the contract in blood. I had to sign my name in the black book. God understands something. So a lot of people say, oh, you can't sell your soul, you can't do this. But what you don't understand is that you can make a covenant with the devil. You can give the devil legal rights to your soul. So that's what it really means. Okay, it's more so like a transaction and you're giving him legal grounds. It's like when you fornicate or do any other sin habitually, you're giving demons your covenant. You're making a covenant with demons, right? So he made that covenant with his blood and whatnot. And that that's how he was able to sell his soul, right? And this is just listening to the beginning of this is absolutely craziness because it just shows you how wicked Freemasonry is. Like, it is so wicked. Like, it's the top tier. Like, the satanic doctrine here is that hell is not what we believe it is or what the Bible teaches it is. The satanic doctrine is that hell is this incredible party. It's like a nonstop, all eternity orgy. So you're, you're smoking dope, you're fornicating your brains out, you're listening to rock and roll through all eternity. And it's party hardy time. And before I could get onto the priesthood of Satanism, <coughs> excuse me, I had to get seven people to sell our souls to the devil. The other thing I had to do in this. So basically, he had to initiate people, sacrifice people, basically in a spiritual sense, where they devote themselves to demons. This is. It's like. It's like a, not a pyramid scheme, but it's like if you're trying to if, if you're trying to get to this level, you got to sacrifice and initiate this amount of people. This is why even the occult and witchcraft, you know, in order to get this type of power, or this type of material gain, you got to do some type of sacrifice. You got to sacrifice someone. You got to sacrifice a chicken, some type of animal. You got to pay a lot of money. It's just something you got to sacrifice. And usually it has to do with blood. Or you spiritually sacrifice someone through food or whatnot or, or something like that. You have to capture souls, uh, keep them in bondage, or get them in bondage. Then you you level up, you rank up higher. This might astonish some of you, is I had to become a Catholic priest. So let's, let's go back. Time. Before I could get onto the priesthood of Satanism, <coughs> excuse me, I had to get seven people to sell our souls to the devil. The other thing I had to do, and this might astonish some of you, is I had to become a Catholic priest. I had to go back to my original vocation because you cannot be a satanic priest unless, first of all, you're a Catholic priest. You cannot be a satanic priest without first being a Catholic priest. Now, it makes you really think, is this the reason why all of these things are happening, all these, you know, scandals are happening within the Catholic Church when it comes to young children and the and the priests doing this and that. And I'm trying to be careful with my words right now because YouTube will flag this. But it makes you really think. Because, there, first of all, the Catholic doctrine is satanic. The Catholic Church, the Vatican, the whole thing is absolutely satanic. And there are many of these priests that are literally demonic. The Pope is literally demonic. Okay? Many people are going to these Catholic churches. They're going to these Catholic schools. And whatever the person, the the priest, whatever, he is an aspiring Freemason, or he could be an aspiring Satanist, and he he was placed in that place so he could go through certain rituals. Because behind the scenes, guys, these guys do not live holy lives. They do not live holy lives at all. And I'm not talking about every Catholic person or priest, but I would say a majority of them, because the foundation of Catholicism is satanic. And, and it's just rooted in paganism and rooted, rooted in adult idolatry and, and necromancy and, and, and idol worship and all these things. It's like, it's like, it's, it's just ridiculous. Because of all of that, you understand that 
the found these guys will not they don't have the holy spirit they don't have the holy spirit these catholic priests do not have the holy spirit the pope does not have the holy spirit if that surprises you i just suggest that you go and you read some of the medieval literature you'll see that that is in fact the case I that, had is, to be that is so wild in order to become a satanic priest you first have to become a catholic priest and it makes you wonder is that the same case for people who are pastors right is that the same case it, it just it, it it's craziness it is this is why you got to be careful where churches you go to don't just let everyone pray for you do your research pray make sure you're in right standing with god because i grew up going to a catholic church a catholic uh school just because the sports was better right and you're seeing all the priests and everything there and you're they have everything that they're doing right i didn't agree with it didn't do the whole communion thing the mass didn't do it um it's really contrary to the word of god but it it, it just it is interesting and alarming how you first have to become a catholic priest before you can become a satanic priest now this is the reason why catholicism is like the richest um like organization or religion you know in the world and i'm not trying to i'm not joining catholicism and christianity together or not because they're separate they're really separate and people try to join together no okay the vatican the catholicism they just the churches are massive it's elegant beautiful expensive the vatican is just full of gold and there's a reason why it's just super they're super successful and just super big and everything because guess what a lot of the people in the vatican the people in the catholic churches the leadership are freemasons they are satanists and they are connected with just very powerful and very influential and wealthy people and they're just grooming this is why this whole grooming thing of young children is known as a thing in the Catholic Church. Trust me, there's human sacrifice, animal sacrifice, all of these things. And it's crazy because he was an aspiring Satanist while originally being a Catholic. So he left his job as a Catholic, I believe. Then he, he went to go try to go into Satanism, but he first had to become a Freemason. Right? Freemason, secret society. Mm, you can't see nothing. Mm, right? Brotherhood. And then he wants to go into Satanism, but he has to first become a Catholic priest. Brother, sisters in Christ, stay away from the Catholic faith. Because there's a reason why they got to be Catholic. Because they, they do all that idol worship, things that are unbiblical, praying to Mary, necromancy, praying to the saints, just praying to the dead, all this demonic stuff. But whoo, I pray for people who are, you know, submerged in this demonic Catholic stuff. If you're a Catholic, listen, study your word in context, not the perverted Bible you're reading because they manip manipulate scriptures, they've taken scriptures out, they've added scriptures, they've added books that contradict the teachings of Jesus, contradict the, the word of God in its uh, originality, right? And this, this is just, this is craziness. And this is a former Freemason and Satanist talking.